Hey guys, so in this video uh, I'm going to do a quick unboxing of a new watch I've gotten. It's the Marathon uh, GSAR Midsize. And I haven't really prepared a script because, well, I want to make this video spontaneous so I can really show you guys what my first impressions are about the watch. So here's the box. I got it about a week ago but haven't had a chance to open it up yet. And I'm just so excited because this is my first Swiss watch and they even label it there right on the box. So all I've done to change the box is just get rid of my address so you guys don't have to see that. Alright, so let's get into it. Start tearing away at some of this tape. We got anti-pilfer tape, so it'll prevent people from tampering with the box. A little bit hard to get off, but not that difficult. Just gonna tear away at it and make it easy. Uh, yeah, actually, let's see. Still gotta get those sides cut open. Oh, look, this appears not to actually be a place to open it. I'm opening it at the wrong side. Let's try a different area then. What do you think it's going to be? You think it's going to be open this way? Might not be the safest way for me to do an unboxing, but why not? I guess in the meantime, I can tell you some of the reasons why I was purchasing this watch. So, the things that I like most about the Marathon G-Star Diver were, uh, it's a matte case, so something I've been annoyed with with watches is always having polished cases. I think it's just kind of a little bit too blingy, so I kind of wanted something a little bit more understated, and it was just really nice that the entire diver's case for this watch is matte. And then also the smaller size. Um, so I kind of have small wrists. I don't know the exact wrist size, but frankly, uh, even wearing an SKX, I feel like is a little bit too large for me. So I wanted to try out something a little bit smaller. And then the final thing I really liked is uh, the tritium loom. Man, that's just gonna be so cool. I can't wait to see um, how the loom actually functions. And I like the fact that you don't have to charge it every night, that you can just wear it and it'll be good for like uh, approximately 12 years. I know the half-life on tritium is like 12 and a half years, but I think um, results will vary slightly um, for every individual watch on how long that loom lasts. Wow, this is just a very strong box. Oh, here we go. Getting it open. Oh, there's two boxes in here. Not what I was expecting. Huh. Let's see if I can just slice these edges open and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut them. Who cares about this outer box, am I right? All right, here we go. So, hope you guys can see that. I have two boxes in here, but I did not order two watches, so we're gonna have to see what's in here. And wow, oh wow, look, they, they give a lot. Okay, so, from the reviews I'd seen online, they usually just give like very simple military style packaging. I got a nice tote bag. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else who's ordered Marathon has gotten one of these, but that's really nice. It's just a little extra thing. We got a couple of their pamphlets here. I'm just pamphlet, what does it got? Uh, oh, it looks like it might be a poster even. That's really cool. Oh, look at this. So you can see all their different strap options that you want. That'd be cool. I mean, I don't think it's really worth it to purchase these straps because you can purchase ones on Amazon for much cheaper, but it's a cool thing to see. And obviously, Marathon has its uh, military history, so we get to see all of that. Yeah, so it looks like it shows their entire range of products. That's very nice. A little bit about the history. Cool. And 
another, oh, clock catalog, okay. Yeah, um, I've seen some of their clock designs. I thought they were interesting. Uh, I don't know, I'm not much of a clock person. I don't think, yeah, I just use my cell phone to use it as my alarm clock, so nothing too interesting, but good to know that they have clocks for sale. And then here we go, here's the important stuff. So the first thing, okay. Oh, look at this. They included a nylon strap for me. Here's a NATO, awesome. I mean, I already had an 18 millimeter NATO, but they provided one for me. I didn't think they would do this because uh, at least on the Amazon order, they said they wouldn't. So that's really nice to have. And then here's the big ticket item, the Marathon um, Dive Automatic Medium Marathon Watch. All right, yeah, so this is what it's all about. Anyway, first up, uh, let's open up the uh, NATO strap just to see what it looks like. So here was what I thought I was going to get, this nice simple packaging, right? Just a simple box and then a simple inner box. This is what I thought I'd be getting when I was ordering from Marathon. Oh, wow, okay, individually packaged. Uh, has a couple of elastic strings on here to make sure it stays in place. Oh, this is, this is pretty nice. Oh, okay, so it is an actual NATO, so it has this underpass, so then it holds the watch in one place. I kind of like Zulu straps better just because they're single pass and they keep the thickness down. And especially with these marathon divers being approximately 14 millimeters thick. Um, probably having a single pass is going to be nice, but still, this is just really thin nylon here, so it shouldn't keep it uh, too uh, thick. And so it's also labeled marathon here. Oh, not bad. I don't know if I'll wear this for a while because, you know, I like keeping my uh, NATO straps nice and, you know, why why ruin this one when I can just buy another cheap one on Amazon? Okay, cool. So there's the NATO strap out of the way. Alright, now let's open up the watch itself. Alright, here we go, moment of truth. Opening it up. Oh, oh, they got a little pamphlet covering it just to mess with me. Alright, alright. Oh, and there it is. Wow, okay, this thing's a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. I wasn't I wasn't really sure how 36 millimeters was gonna wear, right? Because all my watches have been larger than that. This is pretty small. Ooh, that bezel. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. So, yeah, even though this is pretty small, I think I'm gonna like the size because it's gonna wear nice and comfortably and uh, I'm not gonna have to worry about it getting dinged up or anything. And plus, it won't look too imposing or like kinda like, yeah, it, it, it'll be a good watch. Let's get it off this. Uh, padding here. Oh, looks like they got a couple of uh, twisty ties. Okay, and it comes on the nice marathon rubber strap, All right? I'm going to do a smell test because everyone says these straps are vanilla scented. So let's see if they're right. Oh, yes, they are right. Okay, that's really cool. I didn't... Uh, when I thought they were going to say a vanilla scent, I thought it was going to be very light, but uh, that's actually decently strong. So, anyway, here's the watch. Oh, yeah, I really like this brush case. And I like the size, I'm going to be honest. It's small, but I, I like the size. Wind's picking up here a little bit, so I don't want to lose any of this stuff. And so, yes, I love the bezel action. This is really, really easy to turn. So that's something I appreciate. Um, so let's go to the screw down crown, get it unscrewed. Okay, this crown's a little bit smaller than I was expecting. But that's perfectly okay, because it is the mid-size version. Let's get it wound up. So, this watch does have the Salita SW200, which, you know, I would have preferred the ETA, just because, you know, being my first uh, Swiss watch, you know, the ETA 2824 is just so ubiquitous, and, you know, it's just kind of like the first Swiss automatic movement to get, but the Salita is just fine, right? It is a clone of the ETA 2824 in most respects, but yeah, so it should be fine. And the loom is very nice. All right, so let's get it screwed back in. Oh, threads very easily, that's nice. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to wind it up a little bit more, but for now this is fine. Yeah, this is the Marathon Automatic Diver. Uh, the loom's fine. Oh, you can see the glare coming off of it. I thought it was supposed to have anti-reflective coating. It might, uh, but I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble telling right now. 
very nice watch. So first impressions are, this is going to be a good wear. It's going to be really nice to have. And one thing I was worried about is if you notice the hand sizes, especially on the medium size, uh, they're very close in length, which might make it hard to read the time, but looking at it now, it doesn't look like it'll be difficult, right? You can automatically tell, 340, no issue at all. All right, so I want to do a more in-depth review later, but for now, I'm going to sign off and just start wearing my nice, cool new watch. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.